How to calculate real estate rehab costs. That's a question that comes up a lot and it is different for every single market. So labor rates vary depending on cost of living in different areas, which really determines what the contractor prices are going to be. Material costs can be comparable uh, across many markets, but if you're in Alaska where getting the materials out there or somewhere like Hawaii, like the material costs are going to be completely different. And here lately, we've seen a massive increase in material costs as inflation has gone up. So I think the only surefire way to calculate real estate rehab costs is from for reaching out to a lot of different contractors, getting quotes. I would talk to some of these contractors. So first off, I think the first thing that I would say and the easiest are call three to four contractors and just ask them what their average prices are or get them if you have a project in mind currently go ahead and uh, ask them to, to come out and give you a quote. And that will give you, you know, a very realistic and accurate price as to what it costs three to four different contractor companies in order to do a job. We use pretty big ranges. We ballpark, you know, five grand for a kitchen, seven grand for a big kitchen, right? Uh, we have ranges like that that we use three thousand dollars for a bathroom uh, that's about average it's hard to you know there's only generally one tub one toilet one vanity light fixture and a mirror in the bathroom and then the flooring cost depending on how big it is that might vary and then from there it's kind of to taste so i would say about three thousand dollars is for us what it takes to do a bathroom in addition um i would say that i would talk to some of these in insurance restoration companies. I know like Paul Davis restoration, a lot of these wet mold fire restoration companies, I would call them. And I would ask them if you can, uh, if they will tell you what software they use uh, to come up with their rates. And one of the things that I learned just in being an in insurance is that a lot of these contractors are using the same software to come up with quotes. So CoreLogic is a big one. That's the one that we use on the insurance agency side. And they have like a replacement cost estimator, which takes into consideration the material costs and also the cost of labor. So you can go on the CoreLogic's website and you should be able to uh, download some type of software that they use. Or you can get with like a third party software company that has access to the CoreLogic database. And while I would say that all of those prices are going to be on the high end and then from there, that's probably going to be comparable to if you go to some of these contractors that solely do retail work, then that's probably going to be pretty close to the price that they give you. However, in real estate investing, it's important to note that you've got retail contractors that probably spend a decent amount on marketing. They wrap all their vans and you know they are really looking for that homeowner that is willing to uh, spends, you know, tens of thousands of dollars on any given rehab project. Like my brother currently is getting his house ready to sell. And while it costs us about $3,000 to do a bathroom uh, here in our area, my brother was getting quotes upwards of $10,000, $13,000 to redo the bathroom in his home. So the retail contractor companies are the ones that's going to give those $13,000 quotes. And you can generally identify them by their marketing. They're all going to show up in uh, slacks and a matching company polo they're going to charge you probably pretty similar to those core logic replacement cost estimate quotes that those softwares generate now if you look for people that are, are very skilled in how they do their job they're great contractors they don't spend any money on marketing they probably don't have a website they probably don't even have like a google review uh, they definitely don't have any like wraps on their vans or anything like that uh, they uh, show up to give you a quote dirty from the job that they have already been on that day. Uh, those are the people that are likely to give you better prices and would really take a lot of stock in getting that regular, routine, uh, reliable business. So if you've got a decent number of properties, then they are going to love you because they know that you're going to continually give them work. You're going to be a repeat customer and they don't have to do any marketing because I have a tough enough time doing uh, the job that I have at the insurance agency where I'm sitting behind a desk all day, right? I don't need to use my hands for my work. I can uh, be free to be on the phone. And a couple of times that I've done these rehab projects, I can't imagine how difficult it is to, to run a business while also needing your hands uh, to do the work that you actually provide to your clients. So it's a tough game and it really depends on the contractor's preference and what types of problems they want to have as to what type of pricing that they give. So I would definitely 
as a real estate investor, be on the lookout for contractors that do not fit that retail profile of having all of the merchandise because they're probably going to give you the highest prices. Other than that, it's just brute force of regularly going in, contacting contractors, getting quotes. And as soon as you do that enough, you should start coming up with general ballparks of what things are going to cost just from experience of going through the motions so many times. Thanks for watching that clip. I thought that was a good question. And I think you can ask good questions too. Join us every Friday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for a live stream Q&A where we answer plenty of questions just like this one. In the meantime, consider subscribing to the channel if you want more of this content. And if you want to increase your deal flow, analyze properties better, and help me feed my family, click the link below for a free seven-day trial of PropStream.